day everyone, I am Ruby and dear Francisco with my co-anchor, Mr. James De Los Santos. This is the third Balitara Neta, the DLSAU online newscast. We would like to congratulate Brother Edmundo Fernandez, FSC, the newly elected president of Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities. The whole De La Salle Araneta University community is proud of you. Very Own Sprouts has been featured in the ABS-CBN show G Diaries World Changer series on the first day of this month. Here is an excerpt from the feature. Para mapakinabangan ang nakatiwangwang nilang 1,000 square meters na oval school grounds. Inulunsad nila ang Sprouts by Salik Neta Project. We use po the idle land, which is our TAFO, or we call it our sports complex. So, um, isa po sa vision ng aming president and of course our school po, is to use the mga spaces for our cup production. The oval has fully transformed into a very green farm. Tuwing Wednesday at Friday, nagsasagawa sila ng market day para maibenta ang mga inaning gulay. Nagde-deliver din sila. Ang, ang public na bibili, Makakatulong na sila sa scholars namin kasi 100% of the income mapupunta sa scholarship fund nila ng BS Agriculture students namin. Makakatulong pa ang public sa maintenance staff namin na talagang apektado rin ang kabuhayan dahil sa pandemic. Makakatulong din sila sa sarili nila at sa pamilya nila kasi yung kakaini nila sigurado silang fresh and all natural, organic. Our goal to teach minds, touch hearts, and transform lives. Kapag may itinanim, may aanihin! Great job! Sprouts by Salik Neta ng De La Salle Araneta University. Kayo ang napili naming World Changers of the Day! Oval Turn Form has also been featured in the online Philippine Star Lifestyle section written by Dr. Cecil Suerte Felipe. The feature also includes our LSB rooftop turn veggie garden and our salukneta market. Thank you very much, G Diaries and Philippine Store. Last Wednesday, the Basic Education Department conducted a visual open house with the theme Experience, Discover, Grow. The virtual event held via Zoom aimed to give parents a peek into what it's like inside a Lasallian online classroom. Four hours of simulation classes divided into four age group of students were conducted during the event by bed teachers. Dr. Martin Seller had a conversation with student leaders last May 25 via MS Teams. Student leaders from the Tertiary Education Department joined the conversation and received inspiring and encouraging words of wisdom from Brother Martin himself. The event also became a venue for various student leaders to learn from one another. The virtual senior high school commencement exercise was recently held last June 5 and was live streamed on our official DLSAU FB page. The exemplary senior high school students were recognized as well during the event. Here are some clips. Momentous occasion, let us seek divine intervention. Here to lead us in prayer is our student. Mr. Aaron Fresco. Fresco. Let us put ourselves in the presence of our Lord. Heavenly Father, you are our shepherd and our Savior. You guided and saved us as we endured the challenging process of becoming a better person for ourselves, our families, and most especially for your glory. Cassandra Isabel Q. With honor. With honor. Fan Samantha, Samantha Gale C. Gale C. 
Let us give our Let utmost give our felicitation utmost to the graduates of the batch, batch 2021. 2021. Here to give the Here student give response the student is our graduate, Ms. Juliana Faye Meneses, with, with high honors, exemplary, exemplary performance, performance awardee, awardee for ABM, for ABM. Student, student leadership awardee, leadership subject, awardee. subject excellence subject awardee, awardee in Filipino, awardee. and loyalty awardee. Loyalty awardee. I'd like to greet everyone, like to greet parents, everyone, teaching parents, and non-teaching teaching, personnel, teaching, staff, teaching, staff, administrators, and fellow students on this solemn and joyous occasion, a pleasant day. As a student, I can say that online classes were not a class. It was a setup that all of us were not familiar with. We were used to face-to-face -face classes wherein we can actually see our teachers and classmates eat lunch with friends and are able to hear their laughter and exchange jokes with them. This pandemic forced this us to go out of our comfort zone, zone in terms of learning. Graduate. The Evans Head Research Competition was successfully concluded last June 4 by the MSTs. The University Research Center organized a two-day event. The first was for the poster presentations and the next one was for the oral presentations. Respected judges from inside and outside the university decided on the best posters and most excellent oral presenters among the rest. Congratulations to all the winners! Wednesday, June 9, a virtual meeting the advance of some Pisanan will take place before the election day on June 11. The announcement and proclamation of the elected officers will be on June 30 and the turnover rights will be on July 22. Meanwhile, the some Pisanan, the Veterinary Clinician Society, and LACES organized the first virtual Lasallian Veterinary Medicine Crispy. The event entitled Tagvisan ng Talino ng Lasallianan Veterinaryo was held last May 25 and was streamed on the PLSAU FB page. Congratulations to all winners! PLSAU Junior Philippine Institute of Accountants conducted their very first virtual leadership training entitled I Lead How to Rise Above last May 22 via Zoom and was attended by JPA members Ms. Danielle Dahila and Ms. Joyce Belen Current officers of the National Federation of JPEA NCR serve as the speakers during the event. The third Araneto stream live here at the WebTube featuring four of our senior high school students from four strand STEM, ABM, Humes, and Arts and Design strands. The one-hour talk focused on helping SHS students decide which strand suit them best and encourage them to join the DLSAU SHS department. We thank and congratulate Benedict, Hannah, Kasing, and Zia. The NAR entitled Strong Thesis Writing in the New Normal Research Environment organized by the College of Education was held in June 3 via MS Teams. Sir Don King Evangelista served as the speaker of the event. Another webinar entitled Preparations for the New Normal and Career Towards Hospitality Industry was organized by Hotel Society officers for the DLSAU HM students last May 27. The speaker of the event was Ms. Lorena Villario, MBA a Certified Hospitality Educator and Certified Guest Service Professional Trainer. Silid Araneta featured the science class discussion of Sir Christian de Leon and Sir Mauro Ramirez here at the DLSU web show. Sir Dave discussed about the secret of the bloody moon, a primer to a total lunar eclipse on live last May 26. 
Sir Mao discussed about the history of the periodic table, NASA Mars Perseverance Mission, and COVID-19 vaccines last June 1. Silid Araneta aims to give our non-Nasal audience a glimpse on how DLSAU faculty teaches lessons. Tonight, so we're able to witness once again another astronomical um, observation tonight, so which is the total lunar eclipse. And we're very lucky in our country kasi buong bansa natin will be capable of viewing Okay, the lunar eclipse. However, may kita natin dito that during a lunar eclipse, nangyayari to during the alignment okay, of three celestial bodies. So namely our sun, syempre the planet Earth, and the moon. Okay. Dana, unahin natin ang taong 1669 na kung saan ang alchemist si Hennig Brand ay sinubukang gumawa ng Philosopher's Stone. Ang Philosopher's Stone ay may kakayahang daw gawin purong ginto ang mga metal. Makikita niyo ito sa pelikulang Harry Potter, The Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, Book 1. Kaya ang ginawa ni Hennig Brand, kinolekta niya ang residues ng pinakulukang ihi niya at ang dagdag ng ilang sangka. Pero, iba ang nadiskubre niya ng alimit. Noong 1680, nadiskubre rin ni Robert Boyle ang parehong element. Congratulations to our AB Psychology alumna, Ms. Bea Teresa Senko for being the top 8 in the Certified Human Resource Associate by Human Resource Educators Association of the Philippines. The assessment examination was held last May 22, 2021. The DLSAU Graduate Studies Department will be hosting the fourth of a series of research webinars geared at professionals on June 11, Friday, 46 p.m. via Zoom. The webinar entitled Impacts of Antibiotics Used in Humans and Animals will be facilitated by Dr. Nancy Romano. All academicians and professionals are invited to attend. Slots are limited to the first 100 registrants only. So pre-register now at tinyurl.com slash dlsau slash animoseries. See you on June 11. The first ever e-games Battle of Intercolleges organized by the University Student Council and the DLSAU CSC was streamed from Discord to FB Live on May 22, 25, 27, and 29. Groups of students competed in the Call of Duty and Mobile Legend tournaments. The event aims to promote friendly competition among DLSIU college students. DLSIU is offering again the Lasallian Access for Continuity of Education or ACE program to grade school, junior high school, senior high school, and college students from government schools. Successful applicants will enjoy a 50% discount in tuition and other school fees from his or her grade level of entry until he or she finishes the program. Wow, that's a great deal! For more details about the program and other concerns, you may email scholarships at dlsiu.edu.ph or you may visit our official DLSAU Facebook page. You may also find updates by joining the DLSIU Band Student Activities Public Facebook Group. Classes will officially start on June 21 for the basic education level. See you! This is Jalika Siapitan, your kid reporter for Bali Taraneta. Those are the news that you need to hear for this week. Thank you for watching and have a great day.